Hey everyone, Sunless here. And today I'm very excited to show you guys really the most interesting, in-depth, unique way I've ever seen to analyze your game in Rocket League. Now, I think we all know that a lot of high-level players and pros recommend analyzing your own replays, watching your own replays back. But let's be honest, how many of us actually do that? Have I ever sat down, if I have to think about it, have I ever sat down and just like, I'm gonna analyze my replays? Gotta be honest, I don't think it's ever happened. I've like wanted to check out a goal or a save or you know some weird thing and I've watched a replay and then have watched my, my gameplay and I've been like, oh, I, I do suck. The replay viewer in-game is just a little clunky sometimes. It's pretty great for getting cinematics. I use it all the time, obviously, but it's not always the best way to view your replay. You don't have a lot of the information that could be very helpful in analyzing your play style. You don't have how much boost you've used. You don't have uh, the possession percentage. Uh, you know, which side the ball was on on the field for most of the game. Really helpful tools that you just don't really have access to. Uh, until now. So I'm really excited to show off this incredible, incredible web-based feature. It's called ballchasing.com. It's developed by Reddit user Can't Fly RL. I'll be sharing this Reddit post where he has presented his website, describes um, sort of how he did it, the details of what the site is, but I'm just gonna jump straight to it and show you what you can do in this incredible site. All you have to do is go to upload to watch your replays. You upload and you can upload it publicly so everyone can see the replays that you've uploaded, unlisted or private. And uh, here he has where typically you can find your, your replays because they're just, you know, they're stor stored in a, in a file on your computer. Documents, my games, Rocket League, TA game, and demos. So replays by default are this huge string of numbers and letters, so that's kind of annoying. But if you go by date modified, then this is as it appears in your game. Anyway, I have a bunch already uploaded, so I'm not gonna upload one. You've got your rank, the rank of all the players in the game at that time. These are just the typical stats you would normally see anyway, not that interesting. So, but if we go into a game, it looks like Floop and I have a game here. I called it, so here it shows what you named it in the game. So I named this replay save, so I must have made a couple nice saves. And you get this really sweet, like almost 8-bit looking like 3D replay. You can scrub through, scrub through the game. Here's where the goals are. You can speed it up. Oh, you can change the angle. So you can do an overhead if you want. Now this is excellent for clearly seeing what's happening on the field. Okay, you don't have any of the distractions. There's some keyboard shortcuts for moving through the replay. You can do full screen. So the other thing that's cool is you can see uh, public replays. So if you just go to replays, it's all the up replays that other people have uploaded. And you can sort by season and rank. So if I want to see, uh, I want to see ranked, I want to see grand champs from season six. Click filter and you can watch any games that people have uploaded. So here it shows the boost pads. Yeah, because that's one of the settings is you can, uh, you can hide the boost pads and boost amount. See, as the number indicates above, you can also see the boost amount that each person had. So, since you can upload any replay, it also means you can upload um, RLCS replays that are publicly available. So I've downloaded the Energy versus Dignitas Game 7, and I've uploaded it here. And now we can watch the Game 7 of, uh, of RLCS, of the bracket reset. And you can go here and you can see exactly what happened in a really clear way that you just don't quite get in the Rocket League uh, replay viewer. Turbo scores here with with four seconds left um, to take the lead. And then as time is expiring, it's kind of cool to see what happened here. Panda hits it up, Justin hits it toward the middle, Fireburner gets there just in time to ricochet it up, and then Justin flies up. You can just see how close that was. It's pretty incredible. And then of course in that last play, the very unfortunate Team bump on energy. It looks like um, Turbo has the ball up here on the wall. Fireburner is going to challenge Garrett. Looks like Garrett was also coming to challenge. Fireburner couldn't see him because he had ball cam on. Fire goes to make that challenge and it looks like he thought Garrett was maybe back here. Didn't know he was right there clearly because he goes to, thinks Turbo is going to take it up on the wall. And unfortunately, Garrett is there to make the challenge. It might have been because Garrett wasn't sure if Fire was, was challenging, so he came up to see if he could make the challenge himself. Decided at last second, once he saw Turbo was shooting, that he was going to turn back. He probably thought Fire was back here too. And we get the unfortunate bump, and Turbo 
executes a nice goal. So the coolest part is when you end up looking at stats. So this is the greatest thing that you just don't get uh, in game. You get boost collected by team. So it looks like this game was about 50-50. Uh, energy had a little bit more boost collected. You get the exact number of boost collected. Boost collected by each player. Turbo only collected 14%. Less. Who collected the most? Fire collected. Fire and Violent Panda collected the most. It's actually pretty uh, pretty even there, it looks like. Boost consumption per minute. Time with zero boost. Looks like KDOP had zero boost the longest. See, do you see how in-depth this is? It's just incredible. The big and small pad amount distribution. Looks like Fire took a lot of the big pads and left a lot of the small ones. Like, incredible depth. Almost so much depth that I don't even know how you would use that. The movement. You get your average speed, total distance. Uh, this is a this is a big one that I really like. It's possession. So actually, this game was like so close, 50-50 almost. And then this is pressure. So the time ball was on his side. Very cool as well. You can see demos. Inflicted looks like there are only two demos in this game. And then oh, you could oh, this is incredible. I didn't actually know this. You can even look at each person's settings. You can look at their field of view. They're all 110 field of view. You look at their camera height. Looks like Fire has the highest camera. Turbo and Garrett have the lowest camera. The pitch of the camera. You can see all their camera settings just from look just from the replay file. Because of course, because the replay file would have that data. You can look who saved it. <laughs> the RLCS and men saved this one. Uh, the exact time, uh, the season, and the field. You could even export the player stats. As you can see, this is incredible. Let's look at. Uh, my game with Floop, some of the stats. Look at <laughs> Floop's boost consumption. Uh, that's funny. Although he had the time with, yeah, he had the most time with zero boost. That's funny. Floop, of course, notorious for getting lots of, lots of crap from his community for uh, being free with the boost, so to speak. <laughs> So yeah, this is just really fun to watch. Like it's it's kind of like watching Rocket League as a little like 8-bit version, a 3D 8-bit version, which is really interesting. It's actually, it's incredible how accurate it is. You can see the detail and how the cars turn and how they flip. For instance, here for this goal, you can see, it's unfortunate that Flu Moose is it there, but I should have saved it, or I should have been there to, to clear it up. But it looks like I tried to wave dash here, and <laughs> I just, flipped sideways and then tried to half flip backwards but it was too late it's really a bad mechanical mistake but as you can see even with this like sort of low res view it's it's enough detail where you can really see what's happening so i hope you guys are able to use this replay analysis tool it could be really fun to watch your game style see what you're doing wrong because it's very very clear for instance i just recently uploaded a, a, a replay that i thought for sure my it was my teammate's fault that we had got scored on and it turns out after looking at this, I was very clearly able to see that it was actually my fault. And I think the most valuable thing to get out of this is it's a fun way, an interesting way to do something that's typically pretty boring, which is replay analysis. So definitely check out this website, ballchasing.com. And uh, thank you, Rocket Sledge, for showing this to me. And of course, thank you to Can't Fly RL for creating such an awesome tool. So make sure to check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at what's possible with this amazing new tool. It's raining outside and it sounds really nice, so I'm going to close the video with uh, some of that nice little rain footage. So thanks for watching, guys.